Paces of Compilation At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Interpret the need for a compiler Explain the phases of a compiler First, let us understand the need for a compiler. You know that computers generally interpret only the machine instructions written in binary code that is zeros and ones. But writing programs in binary code is cumbersome and also susceptible to many errors and also a programmer cannot remember the binary code for all the operations. A programmer can write programs in high-level languages which are closer to human readable language which is easy to remember. But as the program written in a high-level language cannot be executed by the CPU, we need a translator that converts a high-level program into binary code. Such a translator is a compiler. A compiler converts the source program into its equivalent machine code. Also, a compiler scans the entire program and spots any errors present in it. The compilation process is carried out in two broad level phases. The compilation process can be broadly grouped into two phases. They are Analysis phase and synthesis phase. The analysis phase is subdivided into three other phases, namely lexical analysis, syntax analysis, and semantic analysis. The analysis phase on the whole takes the source program as its input and divides it into core parts and checks for lexical grammar and syntax errors. The synthesis phase is subdivided into three other phases, namely intermediate code generation, code optimization and code generation. The synthesis phase on the whole takes the annotated parse tree and the symbol table entries as its input and generates the target program that can be executed by the processor. Having said that, let us discuss the various phases of a compiler in detail. You know that a compiler works in a sequence of phases. They are lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation, code optimization, code generation. The input for the first phase is the source code And the output from the last phase is the target code. Every phase takes inputs from its previous phase which has a representation of the source program and the output will be fed to the next phase of the compiler in order. In this phase diagram, the symbol table and the error handler perform different operations which we will discuss later. Now, let us discuss about each phase of a compiler in detail. Lexical Analyzer or Scanner is the first phase of a compiler where the source code enters and gets scanned. It reads the source code as a stream of characters at a time and converts the source code into meaningful units called lexemes. These lexemes, which are a series of atomic units that can't be split further, are categorized into blocks called tokens. The next phase of the compiler is the syntax analyzer, also called as parsing. It takes the output from the lexical analysis, that is, it takes the tokens as an input and generates a parse tree or syntax tree. Parse tree is a hierarchical structure which represents the semantic structure of a string. Also, it checks for the source code grammar in token arrangements 
scope of a variable and array bound exception which we will be discussing elaborately in further lessons the input for semantic analyzer is the parse tree this phase checks whether the parse tree is constructed by following the rules of the language for example it checks the value assigned between the compatible data types this analyzer keeps track of identifiers their types and expressions it also checks whether the identifiers are declared before use the output of this phase will be an annotated parse tree annotation refers to the addition of attributes and rules to the syntax tree after semantic analysis this phase generates an intermediate code of the source code which makes it easier to be translated into the target machine code this phase acts as a bridge between the analysis phase and the synthesis phase the final machine language code is produced in this stage code optimizer takes intermediate code as input from the previous phase this phase performs the code optimization for the intermediate code it removes unnecessary temporary variables generated in the previous phase compiler takes less space and avoids wastage of resources such as cpu and memory the final phase of a compiler is the code generation phase the optimized output from the previous phase is given as the input for this phase it translates the intermediate code into a relocatable machine code the length of the machine language program is reduced here the output of the code generation phase is the machine language program symbol table is a data structure which records essential information about the names that are used in programs such as variable names function names interfaces etc with the symbol table a compiler can easily search any record quickly error handler is used to detect and report the errors in the source program errors may occur in all or in any one of the phases of a compiler whenever a phase of compiler spots an error it will report the error to the error handler which sends an appropriate diagnostic message both the symbol table and the error handler interact with all the phases of the compiler summary let us recall the uses and phases of a compiler a compiler converts the source program into its equivalent machine code the phases of a compiler are lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis intermediate code generation code optimization code generation the data structure that is used to record the information such as variable names function names interfaces etc is called a symbol table error handler is used to detect and report the